Jean Carroll is now off the stand after a second day of testimony in her damages trial. And all of this is part of her defamation case against former President Donald Trump. Trump is absent from the courtroom today because he's attending his mother-in-law's funeral. Trump said today, uh, Carroll also faced a cross-examination from Trump's attorney about her income and her public image. NBC News correspondent Rahim Ellis joins us now. Rahima, good to see you. So Trump's team is fighting E. Jean Carroll's claim that his denial of abuse negatively impacted her livelihood. What's their argument here? Well, their whole thing is they're trying to disparage E. Jean Carroll's reputation and her character, saying such things as she became even more popular uh, as a result of the tweets by uh, former President Trump. And they were saying, irrespective of what he posted, she was getting negative remarks even before that. And they went through a litany of things that she might have been doing at one point. The judge says, you've taken enough time on this. Let's move on. This uh, is evidence 101, basically reprimanding or scolding um, Alina Abba for, Habba for the way that she was approaching the questions. In addition to that, they're also trying to say things, uh, make suggestions about um, the character of E. Jean Carroll, saying at one point, didn't you post any tweets that were considered sexually explicit? Uh, Carroll's team objected to that. The judge sustained that objection on the notion that this is not a trial about the character of E. Jean Carroll. This is a trial about what kind of damages Donald Trump should pay as a result of having been found liable for disparaging her character and for uh, sexually abusing her. Now, Rahima, there's, yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of talk, though, about Carol's finances. And Carol says she's now making more than $100,000 riding on Substack, which is much more than she was making in previous years. Why is that important to this case? It's important in this case because uh, this whole case is about money and that if she's the Trump team is trying to make the suggestion she's making more now than she could have made before as a result of the fact that she is better known now than she was before. But the Carroll team has, uh, now that they have rested, and she is no longer on the stand, they're in a lunch break, by the way, uh, they've brought on an expert witness to talk about damages and what it does to one's reputation. They've uh, testified that uh, Trump's statements were viewed by more than 13 million people on social platforms. And now they're saying that uh, this could take anywhere from 7 to $12 million to try to repair Carol's reputation. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.